Right. We're almost done. We've just got the freezer food to get out. <laughs> We're nowhere near done. Yeah, we've just got the freezer food to get out. That's it. We're packed. Ready to go. Right. Four journeys. Up and down the lifts. Up and down the stairs. And we've done it. Hello guys, welcome to a new vlog. It is moving day again. Sick of this. Do you have to start the vlog with a swear word? Oh, I have started. <laughs> I haven't even started. Wait till end of vlog. Positive it'll vibes. Beat, it'll be the beat vlog, this. We have a beautiful apartment now to go to, and we have work there to do. We've got the flooring to put down. Anyway, so we are, it's moving day. Lockdown two is coming. We've got all our things ready here to go into the car, hoping that it'll all fit. Box full of food, um, some Christmas wear for when Vlogmas comes. Hopefully we'll be back in Vlogmas. But, uh, well, I cannot see it, to be honest. Well, we can't, because Vlogmas for us starts before the 2nd of December. Yeah, no, but before it ends on end. So, that's it, moving day. Kind of getting used to this now, aren't we? Well, this is why we've rushed the apartment. Some people have asked on comments, this is the reason why you're doing this. Mm. So, you basically get the apartment. Um, we learned our lesson from lockdown one when we had to go to an empty house and sit on patio furniture. Never doing that again. Never. So. <laughs> we might have been if we'd have sent those next sofas back. Yeah, well, the nice of those next sofas. Uh, right, we're going to get all this in the car and then we'll um, get on his way. Right. We're almost done. We've just got the freezer food to get out. <laughs> We're nowhere near done. Yeah, we've just got the freezer food to get out. Have you got all your, your clothes in there? Yeah. Well, they're there, mine. And then... Is this going to take? <sighs> More than I was thinking. At least ten, I reckon. Up to the apartment, that's what yeah. I think it means. Right, close that boot. I don't think we can get out else in that back. That's it. We're packed. Ready to go. We're likely going to see this now, I think, maybe March next year. Hopefully we get back for Christmas, but who knows. Taking Chris and Jen. Don't forget Chris and Jen. Yeah. Everything's shut down, everything's cleaned, all the water's off, all the um, moisture absorbers are in place. We've put the icer in the toilet. It's a very sad time. It feels sadder now this time than last time, doesn't it? Because we think this might be it for this year. Yeah, but not just that. The fact we've had, we've had like two days yeah, time to uh, think about it as well. Bye Lodge. Right. The thing is, wherever we are is home. Cheesy. Right, we're on his way. We've just stopped off at the gift company <laughs> because Nick wanted the uh, apartment smell nice and Christmassy while we're in lockdown. So we're, pan we're panic buying diffusers. Not some. So these are the Christmas ones. The red ones that smell really nice, don't they? they? Smell like coconut and spices. And we want the apartment to smell like that. <sighs> well, it's like the car smells now. Yeah, while we're there. Right, get us home, James. <sighs> Right, we're about half an hour away from the apartment. Then we've got the uh, arduous task of getting oh. all this up, which will probably take about 10 trips up and down with the trolley. And um, then we've got to get it all put away. Uh, then we've got to have some lunch, because I'm marvin. Uh, Nothing to have. Nice cup of tea. Oh, I've got some bagels. I've got some cinnamon Ooh, bagels. Nice. Toasted cinnamon bagels. Toasted yeah. cinnamon bagels and a cup of tea. With ginger cream, Philadelphia and bacon we could have. Oh, on cinnamon. We've got to use it. Well, so. Just call it American. Yeah. Um, so uh, we've got all that to do. Once we get back, we'll just be moaning about it, like you know, lockdown, getting kicked out of the apartment. But then we've, we've talked ourselves around to be positive about it, haven't we? And, yeah, we um, thought last time that it was going to be a negative experience, and it turned out to be a fantastic experience. There's a lot of positives about it this for us. We've got the flooring to do in the office. Um, Touch up titivating curtains, furniture, all the chops and titivating carpets. Yes, next, next week carpet. Fingers crossed. Um, we have a heating system problem, out. which we'll explain when we get there. We have some more glossing to do. Touch ups. Yeah. Um, so we've got lots to do. So it's it's going to force us to do stuff like that. So that's good. And then we might even start vlogmas earlier. We might put the tree up early for vlogmas. Yeah, maybe. Maybe we may do. We may just be a, an extended vlogmas to just cheer everybody up. So we've our patrons already got their tree up. Um, I think the first one to do it was Dan. Hi Dan. Um, he got his tree up. And Rachel, she's He's got hers up as well. Always the first one to get it up. Um, it's Rachel. Oh, it's a yes. nice tree as well. <laughs> yes, Rachel put hers up last night as well. Hi, Rachel. Yeah. yeah. So there's trees going up already. Yeah. So, major FOMO. <laughs> Maybe I'll let you put it. 
I tell you, I said when we were in lockdown, if it had gone continued any further and we didn't, if we'd have had our tree accessible, Maybe we'd have put it up let's in just July. Put it up. Mind you, we've got we've got a lot of stuff to do. We just need to get all the DIYs and stuff done first. Yeah, and then uh, then we'll see. Right, four journeys up and down the lifts, up and down the stairs, and we've done it. Now just put it all away. Nick! Get lost. <sighs> when we having his bagel? No, no, but that was lovely. What was, oh yeah. Our new plant. Better than that thing. I'm not like that. that. I'm not keen on that yellow. It's nice. It's nice. It's nice. It's nice. It's nice. Right, we've got unpacked. We've put the lamp table there. We decided it was a bit cramped on that side, even though it looks a bit cramped, the sofa looks a bit cramped there, but it's not. There's quite, quite a lot of space there. So we've decided we're going to have the lamp table there. Uh, it's a focal point of the room. Um, now we are starting to shift all this crap. So we're going to start upstairs and start putting the, uh, the bedding on that we bought. Um, well, basically, it's bought for the lodge, but we'll use it here for now on our bed. So we're just starting to unpack and put things away since we're here for a while now. So uh, let's do this. Okay. Right, that's the bed done. That looks, looks a lot like better. <laughs> if, we, if we had wooden uh, things there and there, it would just look like the lodge. That's nice and cosy now. And it feels much better that there's a nice soft mm, yeah. quilt underneath. Right, what's the next job? Next job is taking the rubbish downstairs. Right, it's a bit later. Uh, Mick has been messing with the central heating, which she'll tell you about soon. I'm just going to make a very quick meal. So we've got some chicken, uh, we have some egg noodles, and we have a uh, Asda Adami bean and broccoli stir fry kit. So it's just nice and easy tonight, no hello fresh. Um, Nick's just there, ordering some cushions and uh, a new lamp for that lamp table. Two to three weeks for the cushions. Eww. We'll have to go to next tomorrow and have a look before lockdown well, begins. Anyway, get it, get it. Um, so, that's what's happening right now. I'm going to cook this and uh, then we're going to eat. Right guys, it's about five hours later. Well, not from last scene, no, because I just updated what we're making. Oh, did you? Oh, well. Right, so basically, I've been tinkering with the radiators. I mentioned earlier on in the vlog that we'd had a heating problem. We got our heating bill and for 17 days of use in the apartment, the heating bill was £120. Um, our meters are automatically red every single day and the problem started the day I fitted the radiators. So I was like, oh my God, what have I done? We can't have a heating bill at that kind of price because it, it would have been for a full month about 180 pound just for the heating alone, never mind the electric. So when I was looking through and I saw that it happened when I put the radiators in, I've actually realized what I've done. The lock shield on the left side of the radiators have all been opened full. So the water flow has been literally flying into the radiator and flying out the other side. And the heat that's coming from the water has not been utilized. So for the last four hours while we've been back, I've literally run it for four hours this morning, as it is now, then tweaked all the radiators and reduced the water flow, and it's now now set a new four hour timer to see exactly, because they're just as hot, there's just not as much water flowing through them. And now I'm just waiting for four hours till about half past 10 tonight, so I can take another meter reading and compare it to what it was for the same four hour period earlier on today, with the same heat in the radiators, but hopefully less power and reduce the bill. So, um, so that's what I've been doing since we got back. Lee's been painting upstairs. He's done the skirting boards up there, ready for the flooring to be installed up there tomorrow. Um, I've just ordered some cushions from Next and a, a, a lamp from over there, which won't, the lamp will turn up tomorrow. The cushion's not gonna be here. Yeah, uh, not Friday. Uh, the cushions won't be here for two to three weeks and they're gonna be delivered here directly. And um, Lee's cooking a tea. What's the sauce we're having with it? We are having this. Asda, soy, and garlic stir-fry sauce. Love soy sauce. So, just nice and simple tonight. I put all, um, we need some, we need a, a storage rack. Well, I'm thinking, we were gonna get a wine fridge for this gap here, but I'm thinking if we just got another one of these fascia units, ooh, that's a bit wobbly, um, and put one of those sliding shelves out, we can get all the little bits that can't fit anywhere in there. There's also a gap there, which we could also fit one there as well. So it's just a case of, um, yeah. Finding out where we can get them from and, and ordering it. From IKEA. Although. And I also want to change these handles, so I want to go to I IKEA tomorrow as well to get the cupboard for the understairs. We've got a lot of shopping to do tomorrow before lockdown starts. And then everything's online only. Oh my 
God, this smells amazing. Have what have you put in? Add some, um, some of that sauce, sauce there. Oh, this... Um, it wasn't very flavoursome. Oh, was the one we got from Pound Stretcher. Yeah, there were far too much veg and noodles and stuff for that Ooh, one. Oh, it smells like a really rich, garlicky... Thank you! ...Chinese. Thank you. You've worked very hard with that. Well, let's go and eat it. Yeah. Right, that was delicious. Thank you, thank you very much. Now for date, now for, for uh, pudding. Oh, oh, what a mess, mm. what a mess. I'll tidy it while you're painting the second corpse. Oh, I know, but I've got to get in my pants and it's freezing because Ooh. I've been tweaking with radiators. Whoa. Are you still playing Whoa. with that? Whoa, I love this. Yeah, no, everybody saw it last night's it's vlog. It's favourite one now. What can I have? A piece of ginger cake. I've already had some. Um, I only had half, mm. though. So you've had to resort to putting the electric heater on, haven't you? Yeah, it's really cold outside, it's about 3 degrees, so I've had to put the um, electric fire on, which does actually heat the place up in about 20 minutes. I'm going to make this even more healthy by putting a bit of granola on. That is never going to fit in that dish, that is going to go all over the floor. Just for a little bit of crunch. Right, can you get me another little piece of ginger cake? I'm surprised, you know, how moist that stayed after cooking it. Oh, there's none left, you can eat it. Well, no problem, I'll make some more. There you go. Right, I'm off to have this. So that's it. Lockdown two. Not yet. What do you mean not yet? A couple more days, yeah. We're still in lockdown. We'll come home early. But we're in we're in lockdown basically. We're here for the foreseeable now. Get us jobs done, chase the uh, deliveries and things like that. So there we go. It's cold in here. <laughs> Isn't it? It's colder than the log. Because I've been tweaking the radiators and I've reduced the power consumption. It's not, the temperature's not maintaining itself now. No, so I may good. need to turn them up a little bit more. But I have reduced the kilowatt energy down from, from 25 kilowatts over four hours down to 12. So it is good. Nick's been obsessing about these radiators for 24 <sighs> hours. I will. When you get a 120 pound heating bill for one month, you're dead right. I'm going to do some comments of the day. Right, go on then. Thanks for commenting, guys. Um, Burma Fish Wife says blue or green. For what? The colours to go with the grey here in the apartment. Blue, not green. Lou a lot of people have said teal and teal's just... Lou G says, so thinking about a bit of colour for your apartment, the green plants at the lodge really pop, so why not something green? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alex McGee says, oh, beef stew, definitely that time of the year, it looks delicious. Ooh. You've inspired us to get our slow cooker and make one. I could just eat a, a, a beef stew, although my my uh, gingerbread is still soft after three or four days when I made it ago, it's still moist. Lita Walker says, regarding your colour palette, I think that if you decide to go with a blue accent colour, it should be a blue that leans towards purple or green. Mm, I can't see it. Dark blue, but only a tinge. Keith Mayhew says, we have the same sofa as you and my wife suggested dark navy cushions and grey dark navy stripe cushions. I've actually ordered from Next, well I might have, we might have mentioned it, but I've ordered some geo cushions and a geo lamp. So we'll see what they look like when they turn up. Yeah. Lee said yes when he saw them and then the minute I placed the order he was like mm, No, I'm just making sure yes, that I think that's what he did. With the, um, His OCD kicked in like in the yogurt aisle in Tesco. I think they'll be nice. Um, Kath Jagger says flour is to thicken the gravy sauce. I uh, thought that was corn flour. Might be, I don't know. Uh, Tracy Pond says, hi guys, is your burner for melt electric? It is. It is. It's a Sensi one, which yeah. we got from Josh. Yeah. Oh, Anita Johnson says, hey guys, what pine things are you on about from Asda, please? I need some. Um, um, you'll have to get up and get them out of the drawer. Are they over there? In the drawer. It's them pine things from Asda. <laughs> <laughs> you lazy shit. It's called um, scent, sen scent Sensationals. They're from the USA and then there's a pine one. It's called Sugar Pine. You don't have to get it. I know what it's called. Uh, well, I'm not going to get... Green packet. That one. Does it say Sugar Pine? Yes. Well, you didn't have to get up. I already knew that. Yeah, there we go. That's what it is. That's what it's called. That's what it is. And it was our lovely friend Hannah that got us that. And... Um, when I ordered it on the Asda order, they didn't bleed and have any, but I got pumpkin apple and I also got um, sugar apple. I'm going to allow you to finish the vlog now. Well, the battery's going, so we have to be quick. Well, so if you're new to our channel, guys, don't forget to click the subscribe button, give us, a no give us a thumbs up, click the notification bell, and comment on the video. We'll read all comments, and we'll be back tomorrow for lockdown two, day one. Four weeks of the apartment. Pfft, you're dreaming. Three months minimum.
See you tomorrow. Bye.